Brexit is expected to take up a huge amount of the government's time over the next few years, but Boris Johnson has still set out an ambitious domestic policy agenda, including pledges to fix the social care crisis once and for all, extra spending on schools, the NHS, the police and prisons, and reinvigorating growth across the country. So what can a Westminster government reasonably expect to achieve, and how can it overcome some of the barriers to domestic policy making? From Theresa May's time in government, we know that Brexit tested cabinet discipline and party discipline within Parliament, making it hard to make progress not just on Brexit, but also on the domestic policy agenda. Theresa May's government also suffered from frequent ministerial turnover, which deprived areas of domestic policy of the time, attention and drive that was needed to push them forwards. A general election could break the current deadlock in Parliament, but Brexit is still likely to test party discipline and make it harder to build cross-party alliances on other areas of policy. Leaving no-deal Brexit on the table also takes up civil servants' time, meaning there is less time available to develop and maintain policies elsewhere. We also know that the process for negotiating a future trade deal with the EU once the UK is outside the EU will be a more complicated process than what has happened so far under the withdrawal agreement, and new questions will be on the table that haven't so far been considered. Negotiating a trade deal as a third party requires a more complicated process and requires ratification by all 27 EU countries individually, not just by the bloc as a whole. To help make progress on domestic policy under the current conditions, the government needs to set clear and limited priorities, enforce cabinet discipline, try to minimise ministerial reshuffles and be clear about its fiscal objectives. To help increase the chances of success of making progress on the domestic policy agenda, the government needs to be clear about how extra spending can contribute to achieving its objectives and what other policy might be needed. The government also needs to help build cross-party support for those areas of policy that need to endure beyond its term in government and to make some space for long-term thinking.